Hey, are you visiting Irvine and looking for fun stuff to do? Or you are a local resident and always looking for new ideas? Today, I'm going to share with you my fun list. What's up, everybody? I am Regina Chen. I'm the local real estate agent right here in Irvine, California. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about Irvine, living, working, playing, studying, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and also that little bell. That way you are notified every time we do a new video. Honestly, we're getting many people calling who are relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving here, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get hold of us. We got your back when moving to Irvine. Do you know in Irvine we have a local farm? It's called Tanaka Farms. And throughout the year, they offer a very educational you pick wagon ride. And for this month in November up till uh, November 15, they are featuring goats. Uh, they're super cute. Oh, you can see the picture here. So how it works is, I think their earliest ride is start at 9.30 and the last ride each day is at 4 o'clock. Four Yes, so you get to hop on the ride and there will be a tour guide to show us that we'll be driving around the, the farm. They'll talk about Tamaka Farms history, their farming method, and show us the crops they grow. And we're gonna make several stops in the field. You get to pick three different kinds of veggie. And then you will have some uh, up and close experience with this month's feature. It's our goat friend. And during the holiday season starting uh, November 27th through January 10th at Tanaka Farms. They also host a festival of lights. They're gonna dress up the farm with their pretty lighting. Of course, it's a farm thing one. So from the scarecrow tractor throughout the farm, they'll just lit it up and have a special farm holidays. Um, you, how it works that it's not a wagon ride. You're gonna drive your car and they charge by per vehicle. You'll be able to drive through the 30 acre farms. And on Saturday, and Sunday, Santa will be visiting. I think it will be a very special, fun uh, experience for the kids and also for the family. Oh, I forgot to mention, since this is a lightning festival, it'll start uh, later in the night. Every day start at 5.30 and the last car entrance is at 9 o'clock. So you ha can have like a full uh, night lightning experience. Do you have a bike? If you do, I highly recommend you to take a bike ride at the Boss Trail in Great Park. This is a relative new uh, pedestrian uh, friendly bike trail. Not only beautiful, but it also very functional. It is a two mile round trip trail with a wide paved bike trails and lots of uh, uh, rest area throughout the trail. Uh, you will see those big benches for sitting. They actually, as, as they are like cleverly repurposed from the elements uh, of the old Marine Corps uh, air station. And also, uh, there's very considerably have a lot of water fountains. There's a signpost with direction. There are also play area, uh, lots of overshade area. It just makes the trail nice for all visitors. Definitely worth a visit. Another place I love and always recommend is Irvine Regional Park. You probably hear about this from my other video. What I like about it is that the, uh, it's like such an open, beautiful greenery space and offer a lot of things. I feel like no matter you're going with uh, parents or kids, family, friends, there's something for everyone to do. For example, you can do the pedal bow on the lake and you can rent that special bike. You can sit, uh, depends how big your family is. You can have like two adults sit in two rows at front, put the little one at front and let the adult do all the work, like uh, riding them around. And there is train ride, depends on the holiday and seasonality. They will have like a, a Halloween theme or Christmas theme. It's, it's really fun, not just for the kids. I'm sure the adults can appreciate that too. And also there is pony ride. You can ride a pony, let the kids have fun with it. If you are a savvy horse rider, you can also rent the horse and just um, tour the whole uh, big park at your own pace. And uh, there's also volleyball uh, court. You can bring your frisbee there. 
Um, there's also a uh, OC Zoo inside the Irvine Regional Park. It's not huge, but it's a good size. Um, just add more variety alternative uh, in terms of all the stuff you can do while you're there at the Irvine Regional Park. Um, and we also see that we can a lot of family just bring their food, have picnic, or even do barbecue there. Just hang out, enjoy the nature. Are you a skater? Do you play ice hockey? If that's the case, you need to check out the rink and Great Park Ice. Great Park Ice is a 280,000 square foot facility operated and uh, maintained by the Anaheim Duck affiliate. Uh, in that facility, they have uh, three National Hockey League standard rink and one Olympic one. They also offer children and adults a hockey program. You can also uh, go there just for the uh, public skating uh, session. They have more than 1,000 pairs of uh, skates and hockey gears to rent. The rent is about, uh, I would say like $10 for each uh, skater. And if you don't have your own skate, you can rent it around $5. It's a very impressive facility. You definitely want to check it out. Now you have it. That's my tips on those fun activities you can do with family and kids in Irvine, California. But then again, you got to reach out to us in order to find that perfect area that maybe you've been thinking about living or want to see. You can give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, however you want to get hold of us. We got your back when moving to Irvine. And until the next video, I'll catch you later.